On May 7, 2004, Reverend Paul Teske was speaking at a men's Bible study, never realizing that what was about to happen would change his life forever. So I stood up and began to talk, and about two minutes, three minutes into my talk, my entire left side from my waist down was completely gone. I mean, when I said gone, it was like a light switch went off and I was completely paralyzed. And I'm standing there, no headache, no backache, no pain, and I'm thinking, what is this, a, a pinched nerve, or is it a, did my leg go to sleep? But I kept speaking because I didn't have any headache, and as I'm talking, I'm standing on my right leg, and I'm thinking, uh, this is so surreal, maybe it's gonna go away. As he began to uh, walk towards his chair, um, I noticed, including a lot of other people, that all of a sudden he collapsed. He couldn't bear his weight on his legs, and uh, he just fell down. Paul was rushed to the hospital to find out that he had had a stroke. The doctor's report stated, left leg paralysis secondary to a right vertex hemorrhage. Two weeks later, Paul was released from the hospital with a brace and a walker and began an outpatient therapy program that was to last several months. Well, when I'm in the hospital and I, and I saw that Benny Hinn was going to be in Baltimore, which is only maybe three and a half hours away, four hours away, when I, when I when knew that God was going to heal me and I knew that that lady in my church had been there in August of 03 and was healed, that that was the venue that, I, I mean, it wasn't by coincidence he was in Baltimore on the 21st day after my stroke. Uh, so I just, I just knew that that was the venue I should go to. Just one week after being released from the hospital, Paul and his wife, Rivers, went to the Benny Hinn Crusade in Baltimore, expecting a healing. The minute that the music started, uh, I knew that something was about to happen. I, I felt it. Um, I know that Paul felt it. During the second worship set, I started to vibrate. It was like a jackhammer. I can't explain it, but I just started shaking. And Rivers said, what's going on? I said, I, I believe God's healing me. I, I really think God's healing me. Quickly, you, you, come, 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 come. On the platform, fast, come on. The Lord is gonna use both of you, are you ready? You're so ready. Touch in Jesus' name. Touch in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, three weeks ago today, I was speaking to 200 Christian businessmen at the New Canaan Society. And about two minutes into my talk, I had a stroke. I had a hemorrhage in the brain and a loft, uh, my, my left leg went paralyzed. And I finished my 30 minute talk because I thought my, uh, I don't know why, I just had the strength to do it. They took me to the hospital and I was supposed to get out today. I got out last week. So I, I know Bruce and Lisa Hughes, so I called them up and I said, Benny Hinn is too close for us not to come down. But uh, God has just restored me and uh, it's, it truly is a miracle. God's grace. Stretch your hands towards him that this Sunday miracles will happen in that church. We believe that as the gospel will be preached out of this man's lips and his wife's, that they'll see mighty signs and wonders as in the book of Acts, that that church will experience such a flow and an overflow and an abundant flow of the Spirit that Ezekiel 47 will be fulfilled in that congregation. Well, now only their feet are touching the water, but soon that glorious water of life will flow so great and so deep, it will draw thousands into that congregation. Lord, I pray healing ministry will be granted to this couple who've served you for years. Give them that mental Dear God, dear God. Two weeks later, Paul went back to the doctor. The report stated he has had no setbacks in his recovery and no current symptoms. And in Paul's case, hallelujah, I want to say hallelujah, it was all gone. There was no, no problem left you know, in, in his left leg. Miracles did happen that Sunday morning at St. Paul Lutheran Church and have continued with intensity for the last two years. Paul and Rivers received a healing ministry and they are seeing lives changed wherever they go. Jesus Christ healed me 
But Benny Hinn was the conduit through which the power of God flowed in that meeting. If people say, would you go to a Benny Hinn crusade or would you recommend it? Absolutely. Even if you don't need healing, just go for the worship, go for the praise, just go for the experience of being in the presence of God. It's an awesome thing. Jesus is the healer today. He's never changed from uh, the past, the present, and the future. He will never change. And that is the expectancy that we equip with and that we believe in our own hearts.